Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. I actually managed to find this sucker for a buck fifty. Fifty percent off originally. Tree Dara WF721 said TE. This is one of those things that can give you Wi Fi in your house. All you need is a SIM card. Smash it in, slam evil. Good guys win, bad guys lose. And as always, England prevails. So, what do we got in here? It, honestly, it looks like no one's been through this thing before. Quick start guide. And then we got the piece de resistance. Oh, yes. Oui, oui, mon ami. Okay, so this plastic piece hasn't even been taken off yet. Oh, I love that feeling. Love the way that looks and feels. Oh, yeah. Oh, important battery must be installed at all times to operate. Yeah. So I'm popping this out and check this out. I don't even know if the battery's actually been used. Maybe this came from. Uh, Oh, the bag's open. Somebody's at least went in there to see it. So there we got the Rogers card. Rogers is uh, one of the big evil three corporation-y corporations we have in Canada. All the cell stuff is really freaking a pain in the butt because only one, over, only three overlords look over it. Ultimately, there's only three groups. There's Bell, Telus, and then Rogers. It sucks, but that's just life, my guys. It's just how it goes. So, I want to plug this in. I don't want to see if it actually has any uh, access to it. I want to know. That's interesting. Got the on-off switch there at the back. Got telephone in here. Telephone? Really? Why would you want telephone for this? Why would you want telephone? That makes no sense. No sense at all. Is that like some kind of advanced dial-up idea or something, I wonder? I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, we're turning it on. Let's see how she goes. All right, so it looks like we got a message on here, and it looks like uh, the SIM card is not working at the moment. So they properly shut that thing down. What I didn't realize is this can actually be used for a telephone too. So I'm gonna plug in my old school hackery looking phone. Hacker phone, my ex-girlfriend used to call it. I'm going to plug her in and see if I can hear anything. Yep, I got the beep, 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 beep that says I got a message. And I'm not interested in seeing anybody else's message. I'm just interesting. it actually works. Not sure if you guys can hear that. Beep, 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 beep. Up, up, uh, hacker phone. So yeah, this is the kind of thing that's great for old people who are moving to places that don't have landlines for anything. You just uh, hook them up with one of these. I think uh, I heard somebody say for 20 bucks a month you get free unlimited calling all over Canada, something like that. And you could also use this. Actually, I'm not even sure. If you could use this, you must be able to use this for Wi-Fi. You must. So I think this thing must give out Wi-Fi, but I'm not seeing any other Wi-Fi on here at all so maybe it doesn't i would be really surprised if it couldn't though it seems to be the type of thing that's great for people uh who are old and like their telephone this thing will get you your telephone this thing will get you your oh geez that's interesting it even tells you what's going on back there that's great that's perfect that is perfect so this antenna possibly is just for receiving information and you know what? That's driving me nuts now. I'm gonna I'm gonna check uh, I'm gonna check my Wi-Fi analyzer. Yeah, this thing definitely is not putting out Wi-Fi because uh, I don't see any signals here that I don't normally see. Yeah. Okay. So I was wrong. I went through this book backwards and forwards, and all this is is a unit that takes cellular and makes it landline. So that's interesting. I guess I get to save a lot of money by not running cable in particular spots, but, uh, huh, just kind of blown away that it's not Wi-Fi. Anyways, next thing I want to do, of course, is do a teardown, because you all know how I like to roll. I'm guessing we're going to see some Phillips head screws under, ooh, a lock sticker. I have never seen a sticker under these before. No sticker. Huh. Okay, so four screws later, piece pops right off. That's what we're looking at directly in the unit. A um, bunch of little Phillips head screws all the way around. We can't really see much. I can probably pop that shield off and see what's on the inside. So, be right back. 
Okay, and with the magic of the internet, I can pop that stuff right out. Flip her out. Huh. More shields. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I managed to get everything off of here, and I find myself intrigued by the chips that I find in here, what I see in here. So this is where the antenna was. You can see the antenna cable running up to about uh, the spot where you could plug in an external antenna. Another place right here. Every time you see wireless uh, cards, they have places like this that you can hook the antenna up. What else is interesting is this seems to be a daughter board built directly onto a motherboard. I could probably take this right off, and I wonder if it's because uh, sometimes they like to... I hear it's because sometimes these particular chips, sort of the chipsets, they can't always get exactly this, so they make daughter boards like this so that they can swap it out anytime and still have a modular version to everywhere else. We've got a Qualcomm chip in here. You can just basically see that it says Qualcomm right on there, and it is model... Uh, QSC6270 Qualicom. That's the only chip I can actually get any information of. Uh, the, this ESMT. I've seen that brand before, but uh, I can't get any information about what exactly that chip is. It is so hard to read what's on some of these things. So just uh, for my lovers of the motherboards. Here's a view. This thing has a lot of metal heat sinks on it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. And that from that tech, let's love taking this tech apart. This is uh, fun stuff, always good to learn. Oh yeah, by the way, that USB isn't actually something you can use. It's just for um, the people who manufactured it. It's uh, just so that they can work on it if they need to. Anyways, folks, that's it for me. Now from the next tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, but most importantly, folks, take care of each other.